Welcome to our animation tutorial, chapter 6. We're now done with the animator software, and we're going to start adding some sound to our video. To do that, we're going to need a video editor, and we're going to use the VSDC free video editor, and see the info below for a link to download that. So once you load the program, it's going to look like this. You need to go to New Project at the top there. And then at the top, we're going to type a name for our project. I typed Robot Video, click Finish. This pops up, just hit Cancel. And then we need to go to Add Object, which is under the Editor tab. We're going to add a video object. Now find the video we made before an animator and select that. Click Open and click OK. And then this is going to be attached to your mouse as you drag it across. So drag it across the whole thing and then click to set it there. And that's good. Now we need to add some sound, so make sure the Editor tab is open. Go to the Editor tab at the first top and then Add Object, and this time Audio. Find the audio file you want to put on it. So we're going to go to something here that's under this folder and under the Music folder. There we go. And we're going to get uh, Game Jungle 1. That's actually from a video game I wrote. But that's what we're going to use. Now it's way too long. If I put my cursor at the end, I can drag it and shrink it. So now it's the same length as the video. Now we're going to add some more audio. So go to Add Object again. Go to Audio. And you would find the next audio file, which I'm going to use something called Footsteps. It's a sound effect in my sound effect folder. Type a search here for it. There it is, footsteps. Hit OK. And again, it's too long, so we put the cursor at the end and we can drag it to shorten it. Now we have both of those and we are ready to preview. So let's hit the preview button. And there it is. It's going to let it loop here. Well, it's set to loop here automatically. So we'll stop that. And then that. Now we need to click the export tab. And under Export Project, the tab is Export Project, not just Export. We need to come down to where the file is and change the name. That also allow you to change the location, which is really what I'm interested in doing. I'm going to put mine in the, my temp folder here. And actually, I already have one, so I'm going to save over it. But you can name yours there, and that won't pop up. That's just because I already have one. It's set to MPEG-4. That's a good... And then we hit Convert Video, hit OK, and it converts it, and we hit OK. Now we can leave the software, save it if you want to prior to leaving, and find the video on your computer, and double-click it to watch it. There it is. And that was quick, sweet, and simple, wasn't it? 